Mr. May here. Uh, welcome to my tennis lesson. Um, so you would have seen at the beginning uh, your learning objectives for physical me, social me, thinking me, and leading me. Okay, so first and foremostly then what we need to do is we need to get ourselves ready. So uh, in a second, what we'll do is uh, I'll get you thinking about your thinking me and your physical me getting yourself warmed up. Uh, but before that, we need to make sure we've got the right equipment. Now, being in lockdown, same with me. Uh, unfortunately, all the PE equipment is uh, in the container at school. So if you're very lucky to have a tennis racket and a tennis ball, brilliant, please use those. If not, we need to get into our thinking me and be creative. Okay, so my creativeness today for this lesson, I'm going to be using one of these and some of these. Okay, so I'm going to give you some time now to uh, A, get yourself warmed up, B, to go and get the right equipment that you need to take part in this lesson. And while you're doing that, I will display the half term words of the week and the key words that we're going to be using within this lesson. Great, so you're all warmed up now. Uh, you've got your all equipment. Great, so first things first, we're going to look at the grip. Okay, so making sure that we hold the racket as if we're shaking hands. Okay, making the V down, down the racket. Okay, so making sure that we have got a stiff wrist throughout both these shots that we're going to be practicing. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the forehand. first position that we need to get into is our starting position. So we're on our toes, okay, so that we can quickly move in line with the ball. So making sure that we, this is our start position. Part two, the actual shot itself, okay. So if you are right-handed, you will take and use your opposite leg to step towards the ball. Okay, if you're left-handed, you will take your right leg to step towards the ball. Okay, so the first bit is we get ourselves on our toes, we look where the ball is, we get to step towards the ball, okay, then we go from low, we swing through, and with a stiff wrist, we're looking at meeting the ball, okay, and then as we do it, we're then looking at the follow through, okay, and with the forehand, forehand follow through, I always remember it as having a personal stick, okay, so let's have a look at that again. So from start position, step towards the ball, low to high, follow through, personal slip. Okay, so let's see that in action. Got my tennis ball. Okay, so I'm there, step through. Okay, back to a start position. Try that one again. So start position, step towards. Okay. So, that's the forehand. Next, you're going to see a recap of the uh, forehand, followed by the pros, and see how they do it. Have a look, get practicing. See you in a minute. Hello, so you've had a practice at your forehand, you've seen how the pros do it, you saw how I did it, and you saw the difference between the two hopefully. Okay, so you've had a little bit of a practice, um, now let's have a look at the backhand. Okay, so exactly the same grip, making sure that we're nice stiff wrist. Can you remember the start position? It's about this. 
No, good. It's on our toes in the middle. Okay. The difference with the backhand is this time, instead of going with the opposite leg to our racket hand, we are going with the same leg. Okay, so from start position, step towards the ball, racket comes from low again. Okay, nice stiff wrist as we meet the board, but then as we follow through, we open up, and in this one, instead of a personal sniff, we let everybody have a sniff. Okay, so start position, step towards the ball, follow through. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Okay, so ready position, step in, over the top. Let's have a look again. Apologies, but no ball boys or ball girls here today. Okay, so let's do it again. So we'll start position. There we go, step in. Perfect, right at the camera. Brilliant. So have a look at the recap of the key the key points. Then again, have a look at the uh, how the pros do it, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, brilliant. So now we've had a look at two shots, two of the key shots in tennis, forehand and backhand. Okay, we've run through our starting position, where we place our feet, what legs we're going with, and how we follow through. So what I want you to do now for the rest of the lesson is we're looking at that creative, that thinking me, okay, is what I want you to do is, you've seen how it's done in isolation. Now what I want you to do is can you create your own drill that is, you know, your own session using whatever equipment you've got around the house uh, and be creative. How can you practice using and practicing your forehand? It might be as simple as a wall in your back garden that you can play it off of. If you've got someone else at home that can throw you a ball that you can practice and maybe set up some targets to hit, it's entirely up to you, okay? But make sure that you upload uh, any pictures or videos to us so that we can see it and you know what I'm like I like a good idea so if there's some good sessions on there I'll take a note of those and you might see those in some PE lessons uh, next year okay so remember the key words key words that we look we were looking at in terms of speed being able to um, adjust and get back into that start position quickly to move towards the, the ball we're then looking at that follow through for the power to make sure that that shot is powerful. Um, so have a look, any questions, let us know. Okay, then with your um, social media leading me, challenge is, can you get someone else, else in your household involved? Uh, again, send us your clips, uh, send us your photos, and get the people involved. Can you then become the coach? Okay, it's been great talking to you. Hopefully you've learned a little bit and hope to see you back soon. Take care.